I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This time out, a state-of-the-art audio interface from Focusrite. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the RED 4 Pre, a state-of-the-art audio interface from Focusrite that offers up to 58 simultaneous inputs and 64 simultaneous outputs. It has connectivity that allow you to use it in just about any situation, from home studio to location recording to professional studio. The I.O. complement includes four of Focusrite's RED Evolution microphone preamps with air functionality. It also has eight line inputs, eight line outputs, two banks of eight ADAT optical inputs and outputs. We have SpeedF connectivity. You can connect to a network using Dante. We've got direct connectivity to Pro Tools HD and lots more. Let's take a tour of the ins and outs of this box. Starting on the front panel, we have two DI inputs on the left hand side. Next up, we have four selector switches that determine which of the four preamps we're working on. When you select a preamp, its functions are shown in this display. So we can select the first preamp, and if we click again, we can see the different functions for the preamp. The knob allows us to control microphone preamp gain level, and we can also select the input source, mic, line, or instrument level. The next display features eight level meters. Now these meters can be assigned to a variety of different sources using the meter button over here, and then scrolling through the different types of sources that are available. We can set it to analog inputs, various digital inputs, outputs, so we can monitor whatever source we need to keep track of. The third display window shows us parameters for monitors, for headphone 1 or headphone 2. Now both those headphone outputs are independently assignable and you can control their level independently as well. We can also press the two buttons simultaneously to see the global settings. The large knob controls monitor level or headphone level depending on which one you have selected and pressing it will mute that output. Now let's turn the RED 4 Pre around and check out the back panel. The right half of the back panel is where we find our analog I.O. It begins on the far right with four microphone or line level inputs. Next up, we have two 8-channel D-sub connectors that carry balanced line inputs and outputs. Two TRS quarter inch jacks carry our stereo monitor outputs. We also have two RCA jacks that carry our SpeedIF stereo digital input and output. Above the SpeedIF and monitor connections, we have two primary ports. These ports allow us to connect directly to Pro Tools HD systems as well as Avid interfaces. Pro Tools sees this as an Avid interface when you plug it in with this connection. To the left of this, we have two Thunderbolt 2.0 ports. Now these Thunderbolt 2.0 ports give us extremely fast connections and allow for extremely low latency. With two of them, you can daisy chain different devices off of your computer. We also have two banks of ADAT optical I.O., each of which carries eight channels of digital input and output, giving us a total of 16 channels. For synchronization, we have word clock as well as loop sync. And finally, we have two Dante network ports. The Dante network ports allow you to either use the Focusrite RED 4 Pre in a network situation or to connect RedNet interfaces for a total of 32 additional inputs and outputs. As we've seen with other Focusrite audio interfaces, the RED 4 Pre comes with Focusrite control. Now this app allows us to control the inputs, the outputs, the routing inside the box. We can set up all the features, the sample rate, and so on. We can also create independent mixes for the monitors, headphone 1, and headphone 2, and these are latency-free mixes. Let's take a look at Focusrite Control. We'll begin with the device settings. Now these are the overall settings for the RED 4 Pre. We can set the sample rate up to 192 kilohertz. We can set the clock source, whether internal, SpeedIF, ADAT, word clock, Dante network, or loop sync for Avid systems. We can determine which SpeedIF connections we're using, whether they are RCAs or optical. We can also use the app to select our meter source. Now you can do that from the front panel, but it's very easy to do that from right here inside the app. We set the host mode depending on whether we're using Thunderbolt to connect to the computer or if we're using an Avid Pro Tools system. Monitor controls allows us to select among stereo monitoring or various types of surround sound monitoring. This page is also where we set up the operation for the software controlled RED Evolution preamps inside the RED 4 Pre. We can select 48 volt phantom power on and off. We can flip the polarity, engage a high pass filter, or link channels 1 and 2 or 3 and 4 together. We can determine the input for each of the preamps, mic, line, or instrument, or we can also set the gain level for the preamp. Focusrite Control also allows us to independently set the air function on and off for each of the four microphone preamp channels. Now the air function emulates the effects of the transformers found in the original ISA preamps from Focusrite. It gives you a nice top end lift, a very open sound. It's a nice option for vocals as well as acoustic instruments like steel string acoustic guitar. When we switch over to the mixing and routing page, we can access all of our I.O. So we can set up our monitors here, we have mute function, a dim function if you want to talk over the monitors, and we can also set stereo or mono monitoring. We can choose to have a second set of monitor outputs, we can control our two headphone outputs and assign the mix that's being fed to each of those. We also have our line outputs and our ADAT and SpeedIF digital outputs. 
Finally, as we scroll down, we'll see the Dante network outputs. Each of these sets of outputs can be assigned to a different mix, so it's very flexible as far as configuring multiple mixes for your talent when you're recording. On the input side of things, we can configure exactly how many channels we want to see inside a Focusrite control. For example, here I've got two hardware inputs displayed. We can mute, solo those, control the level, and we can also pan that in the mix. Now we can show others by clicking on the plus sign here and choose which we want to look at. We have the analog inputs, speed of digital, ADAT optical, and we also have Dante network connections here. Using these faders, we can create a custom mix that can be routed to any of our output sets. At the bottom of the screen is where we set up monitoring for signals returning from the computer that are playing back from within your DAW. This allows you to track with no latency. And again, we can choose what we want to see here. As I mentioned earlier, the RED 4 Pre really is a state-of-the-art audio interface. Focusrite is using some new and unique technologies to optimize the performance. For example, they're using parallel path summing on the converters. This means they have two converters running in parallel, which gives them great dynamic range, extremely low noise, and frequency response that goes up to 35 kilohertz. In addition to the Focusrite control app, the RED 4 Pre includes Focusrite's RED plug-in suite, as well as SoftTube's Time and Tone plug-in bundle. The wide range of connectivity in the RED 4 Pre really make it future-proof. Whether you want to use it in a network, take it out and use it in a live system, you're using it in a studio, you want to connect directly to your computer, you have Thunderbolt 2, direct connection to Pro Tools HD systems, as well as Dante networking. To wrap things up, we'll have Don Carr play some steel string guitar through a pair of Audio-Technica 5045s through the RED Evolution preamps in the RED 4 Pre. We'll engage the air function so you can hear all that detail in the open top end these preamps can provide. I hope you enjoyed this look at the RED 4 Pre. It really is an amazing audio interface that works great in a wide variety of different situations. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.